What were some of those key things uh, that made us successful in this business-to-business -business media business? And uh, uh, where Paul this morning, you know, talked about some of the new things, and we have so many new things that are on our plates that the businesses are so much more complex to manage. That, and the fear sometimes is, are we moving away from some of those core values that we had that made us successful to begin with? There was a lovely thank you note from Ty Bobbitt, the owner of Bobbitt Business Media, the publishing group that purchased Salon Today, along with Modern Salon, Salon Media family a few months ago. The note personally thanked me on a job well done on a recent issue. It may seem like a simple gesture, but that, that handwritten thank you note was incredibly gratifying. The readers today are more sophisticated and discerning, and one of the risks that you run is that if you don't adhere to those standards, you will lose your audience. You will lose uh, one of the key equity values that you have in your brand o over time. You know, we talk about editorial integrity and maintaining readers' trust, and I, I do think that in this, this room with many business leaders and brand leaders, you also need to preserve the trust of your editorial team. Um, in making decisions going forward because journalists, if they're a lot like millennials, you know, they're out to do something beneficial for the world. You know, they want to feel their work matters. And those were ad blockers um, because, you know, it had been really exciting. We'd been see seeing uh, digital advertising revenue grow dramatically over the last uh, five or six years, even though we, too, um, still have print advertising as our number one revenue uh, line item in, in a market that where it's been growing for us um, double digits for uh, the previous five years. Actually, it's premium, and it's not giving it away. Advertisers are going to pay if the performance is good. We know so much more about our readers than consumers do, right? I mean, the consumer brands, they, they, BuzzFeed doesn't know who those 100 million people are. We usually have a pretty good idea, and we can actually track that VP of HR at a restaurant chain with 500 units or more that, that engage with multiple pieces of, of relevant content. That's the most powerful lead in the world if that's your target audience, and so that's... You, you almost can't do this without content marketing. So we think the timing is right to really start challenging conventional thinking in the industry. And a lot of the conferences that we do at Hanley Wood are vertical. So we'll do a conference for builders, we'll do something for dealers, we'll do something for architects. So Hive is, is one of the first times that we're actually gonna do something that runs across the whole industry. So we keep referring to it as the whole ecosystem. So, so last year was the year that we really talked to reps and talked to reps because my group supports, we're the internal direct marketing group at Penton. Our database, we pulled our database in-house. We don't have a list company managing it. We pulled it in-house so that we can control it. So that we, because we're intimately, we know every 20 million of these people. And young people especially want to make a difference out there. I know when, when I started with our company, first thing my father told me was, we're here to help people. He was more of a sales guy and was more helping our, our customers, but uh, the thing we're reinforcing these days with our, our people is that uh, we're here to help our audience. We're, we're not only are we helping our, our, our customers through their, their advertising or bringing buyers and sellers together, but we're, I mean, our, uh, we're, we're helping save lives.